Say hello to vertical tabs, a new feature available inside Thrive Arctic that is going to allow you to organize your content and layout into tabs that stack vertically on top of each other. With them, you're going to be able to create customer hubs, dashboards, and all sorts of different layouts. Let's see them in action. Perfect, so in order to get kickstarted with vertical tabs, the first thing that I want you to do is to fire up a page with Thrive Architect. The page that you're looking at right now is a pre-designed page that uh, was included in uh, one of our most recently released themes for Thrive Theme Builder called Gallery. It's a gorgeously designed page. Um, but let's just say that we want to include a section here. So we have a section for featured artists that comes by default with this page, but let's just assume here that we wanted a new section. Um, and we can probably duplicate this section to test this out um, where we showcase actual images. So let's do, we're gonna insert a tab and we wanna showcase legitimate images or you know portraits or photos of some of the artists that are currently on display in our art gallery. How do we do that? Well, first things first, I want you guys to pick out any template. As you can see, all these tabs look like, uh, you know, like the regular tabs that we've all had access to inside Thrive Architect for many years now, right? But let's just go ahead and pick this first one. You will soon notice how in the left-hand toolbar, we now have the option of modifying the type of um, uh, layout that we want our tabs to have. So uh, up until now, we only uh, could use horizontal tabs, but we can now do vertical tabs as well. And check that out. It is super easy to navigate between tabs. On mobile, these tabs are going, well, the uh, menu items for these tabs are going to stack on top of each other, making it super simple for people to navigate from one tab to another one on mobile devices as well. And um, what I really love about these new vertical tabs is that they allow for a more um, creative way of designing all sorts of different layouts. I was talking about dashboards and customer hubs earlier, but you can really take this as far as you want, right? In this case, let's just say, for example, again, that we, you know, Pablo Picasso is on display We've got uh, Van Gogh, we've got, what else do we got here? We can have uh, Monet and so forth and so on. And what's really cool is that you have the full control of Thrive Architect widgets uh, to be able to drag and drop them inside these tabs, right? So we could drag an image and let's just assume that this image of this eagle has been um, painted or taken by Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. And let's just assume do, 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 that this image, I mean, that um, Van Gogh has taken another really cool picture. In this case, it's going to be this puppy. Van Gogh. And you get the gist of it, right? But this is going to allow you to create different layouts. Like I actually recorded a video not too long ago that you can watch. Um, you can watch me replicate Evernote's homepage completely from scratch using Thrive Architect. And if you've watched that video, you'll know that um, I hit a wall at one point where I was trying to replicate this section where um, you could click on these left-hand menu items and the content on page would get updated depending on which menu item you're, pre you're pressing on. It's now super easy to replicate this using Thrive Architect with these new vertical tabs and ensure that they're mobile responsive. Because what we did in that video was, you know, use a workaround using the pricing table, but it wasn't very mobile responsive. Now you can actually do this in an extremely mobile responsive way without having to bump into any sort of technical or design limitations. So. Uh, that is great, but what I'm envisioning a lot of you guys doing as well is using this to create all sorts of really fancy dashboards for your uh, membership sites and for your Thrive Apprentice um, you know, uh, websites and so on. Uh, because now you can, for example, let's just assume that we're done uh, being Pablo or you know, running our art gallery and you can have a section here for uh, user uh, settings. You can have a tab here for your courses, 
you can have another tab here for uh, recent content. You can have another tab here for podcast episodes and so forth and so on. And since you can uh, leverage the full power of Thrive Architect here under user settings, you can insert uh, people's WordPress account details. So user profile. We can just drag and drop one of these really nice templates like that one, for example. And this is going to allow people to change their uh, WordPress username, their first names, their passwords, and so forth and so on. So here, edit your details. Great, for courses, we could do your courses. You could just simply insert a list of courses, course list. And you could just pick one of these templates and have that show up under your courses. For recent content, you could do recent posts, a list of posts that you've recently published for your members and so forth and so on. As you can see, since you have the power to simply drag and drop any of Thrive Architect's widgets, you can take this as far as you want. I'm actually really excited to see what else you guys can do with uh, tabs now that there is a new way of using vertical tabs on your sites. Pretty nifty, right? Vertical tabs are available to all Thrive Architect users starting today. If you still don't have your license for Thrive Architect, there is a link in the description box that you can click on to grab one at the best possible price. All right, give me a thumbs up button if you like this new feature and I'll catch you soon. Thanks again.